Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and I make videos about travel and lifestyle. If you enjoy this type of content, don't forget to like this video. And if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on anything. Today I'm going to tell you about my trip to Santorini, Greece. The must-sees, where to stay and eat, the full one-day guide and what you do if you have extra days to spare. Stay until the end if you want to see the incredible landscape of the most picturesque town, the best places to take photos and the full budget. Santorini, officially Thera, it's an island on the southern Aegean Sea, part of the Cyclades archipelago. It is best known for its cliff top, picturesque towns such as Thera and Ia, which are actually written like this, not as they are pronounced, all of which offer stunning views over the caldera. Caldera is a crater caused by a 16th century BC volcanic explosion, which was so massive that reached as far as Crete, destroying the famous Knossos Palace and reaching as far as Egypt. As soon as you know this, you can then see that this crescent-shaped island is actually an active volcano, whose last eruption was on 1956. This is also why Santorini is associated with the legend of Atlantis, the sunken island. This volcanic land produces some of the most delicious wine and tomatoes I have ever eaten. It's a honeymooner's paradise with the most stunning sunset I have ever seen. So, what is the best time to visit? I visited in September, which was amazing since it's shoulder season with lower prices, but everything is still open and the weather is still amazing. Peak months are in July and August. In the winter, Santorini is mostly closed off and there are fewer connections to get there. I flew from Lisbon to Barcelona, made a stop over there, then flew directly from Barcelona to Santorini. I flew with Welling, and I loved their Tinkerbell plane, it's quite magical. I think I paid well over 100 euros for the, the, the trip. Um, but I've been researching recently, and it's quite cheaper. Nowadays, with EasyJet, you can get this trip for around 60 euros, and with connection through Malpensa Airport in Milan. Santorini Airport is quite small. We arrived there quite late, 2 a.m., and thankfully we had booked a transfer to get us from the airport directly to the hotel. At Hotel Ajais in Paris, which costs around 80 euros per night. The first shock was when we arrived there, they gave us two bottles of water because the top water in Santorini is non-drinkable. I never heard this information anywhere else uh, before I got there. A simple hotel, Airbnb style, but with an amazing pool. Here I am swimming happily. Half our stay didn't include breakfast. And to take it there was neither the best or the cheapest option. We found out an amazing bakery called Santirina in Parisa. Here is what we have been eating there. Next up, the beach. There are three different colors in Santorini beaches. White, which is only accessible by water through a boat. Red which is actually more like dirt than sand, and black, which is round, dark pebbles that didn't hurt the feet very much. In Paris, which is the very best beach experience, it was 
great. Stopping by Akrotiri, which is an archaeological site, we reach the red beach. It's more like red dirt and not red sand. It's quite difficult to get there, but it's worth it because the views are amazing and you can take a picture there. Then we drove to the capital of Santorini, Thera. There's an amazing view of the caldera as soon as you arrive. Right next to this view, you have an amazing church. It's Orthodox Metropolitan Cathedral and it's built in a very original way, all white with many arches and a colorful interior. There's another church in Tira that's worth a visit. It's called St. John the Baptist Cathedral and it's a Catholic Baroque church. Then head over to lunch. Grab a quick bite, such as gyro or souvlaki in Mid Corner Grill for about 10 euro. Then head over to Ia, the most expected part of this trip, so you can get there well before the sunset. When you get there, drive down to the Moody Bay so you can avoid the 300 steps that it takes to get there by foot and you can enjoy the views of the ocean and the restaurants near the water. Don't forget to take a picture. Then head over to the top of Ia, check the castle where you'll see the most amazing sunset ever. But before that, grab an ice cream at Lolita's Gelato and search for that amazing photo that you've been meaning to take. I'll tell you how. Search for a street called Nicolao Nomico and right after Patisserie Mendevio, you'll see a church with three bells. Turn right and if you take the steps down, you'll see the famous blue domed church with three domes that everybody wants to take a picture of. Take your picture and enjoy. Finally go watch the sunset and the castle. When you head back over, you'll go to some amazing windmills on your way back. Unforgettable with the sunset, believe me. Then, on your way back to Parisa, stop over at Paris Voluge to dine in an amazing restaurant which is called Lava Tavern. A tavern is a family-style restaurant quite like an osteria in Italy. There, ask for the amazing moussaka that they have, ask for grilled squid, and ask for the baby fried squids. They are the most amazing squids I ever, ever eaten in my life. This will set you back 25 euros per person, but it's an incredible investment. The next day, take your breakfast and head over to Tira's port. So you can get the ferry to go to other islands like Mykonos. Don't expect to eat breakfast there. There are no quality options. And don't forget to buy the tickets online beforehand. If you have extra days to spend in Santorini, I would advise that you also visited Akrotiri archaeological site, which is considered like the Pompeii of Greece, the Thera cable car, which is also nice, and that you book a boat trip to Nea Kameni, which is the volcano, and also to experience the hot springs. As for the budget for this leg of the trip through Greece, 350 euro or 415 dollars should be more than enough to cover these expenses that you have when you travel. If you have enjoyed this video, stay tuned because 
I'll be bringing you more videos about Greece and other places. Bye and hefaristo!